joined. Um, so welcome to our, our first virtual workshop uh, via Zoom here at the Data Analytics Club. Uh, we'll be doing JMP uh, with Jenny today, uh, both today and next week as well. Um, for those who don't know me, I'm actually the president of the Data Analytics Club. My name is Mitch Roy. Without further ado, Jenny, do you want to take over? I could provide you access. Okay. If you want to introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, hi guys, I'm Hejin Jung from MS Spectrum. Today I will be your jump instructor. So thanks for joining this meeting. Okay, before I start, I have a couple of announcements. Um, I will teach jump using the uh, for here the data set. So I will use the uh, support here the data set uh, and you can download over here. We have two data set of here. Um, for here information and for here the power. But I did a couple of adjustments to make sure you learn more easier. So after finish the workshop, I will upload my own data set through my YouTube channel. So you can check my YouTube channel over here. So I will be upload every workshop and all the material using this channel. So you can um, check through this one. My workshop will be the two times and the first workshop which is today i'm going to show you how to data cleaning and how to pre-processing of the data and visualization and something make the build graph as well the, and the second workshop will be i will actually build a real model of the data analytic uh, using the jump so, so let's start okay um we have a two data set over here here are information in hero powers so let's look around the hero information data set first so this data set delivered the information of superhero we have name gender eyes color let's look at the second data set superhero power over here this data organized superhero power uh, here is the one and here's the zero value the one means for example 3d man have has um, agility power, but 3D man doesn't have accelerate healing power. So after we do the data cleaning over here, we're gonna combine these two data sets. And let's go back to uh, hero information. So here we have, um, this data has 11 columns. So this icon next to the variable indicates the model type of variable. So the red is category and we've got nominal column of name, gender, eye color of race. And you can see the blue color, it means the continuous data. So we've got continuous column of age and weight. Uh, this data doesn't have any ordinary variable. Uh, you can check the green bar over here. So let me put back continuous. So we've we've have 734 rows. So we've got 374 cases of superhero uh, information over here. Mm -hmm. So we did explore the data set and it's time to clean the data set. What it means of cleaning data? Um, we are going to check the mixing data outlier and reducing categorize to get clean data set. As you can see this data set, we have many missing value over here. So we're gonna treat this missing value in a good way. Uh, if we have this kind of many missing value in the data set, it can possible affect to get precise analyze the data. So we need to do clean the data set to get more precise prediction. So you can click over here. You can hit 
here and select the matching cell and jump automatically select all the same cell over here. So click or uh, right, right click and you can do exclude. And you can see that we are totally 172 rows excluded, which means it's missing value. Mm. Let's do another column as well, race. Select matching cells. And over here, excluded. So you can always check the excluded and selected rows in over here. And here, color. As well, select all match. And excluded. So, but over here we have skin color mm, column. So as you can see over here, skin color column have like almost 80% of missing value. So when we found this kind of column, we cannot use this column for analyzing. Um, so I will exclude the skin color column, entire column. So you can over here and right click and you can delete or exclude. In this case, I will delete the columns over here. So totally we did 378 uh, exclude the, the value. And next we're going to check the double check of the data set. So let's go call column viewers. Mm -hmm. Selected all the columns in show summary. So you can see over here we have still missing value of publisher column and weight column. So we're going to exclude this missing data value as well. Click and go to tables and missing data pattern. So we have only publisher and weight have missing value. So add column in a case. So you can check this missing value. So we're going to click exclude as well. So after this one, we're going to check the outlier of continuous variable as well. Let's go to analyze in screening, explore outlier. These two columns, okay and compare range outlier. So normally when the column have outlier, you can see the number of outlier over here and we can exclude uh, in here, but we don't have any outlier over here. So we can skip the outlier part. So after this, uh, finally with the cleaning the data over here, and we excluded 382 rows and we have 352 data to analyze. So this is the end of the data cleaning part. So is there any question of till now? So we, we just finished the data cleaning of the spur here data set. Um, I will check the. Looks like somebody has a question. One moment. Question over there. How how can we decide to exclude or include the data value? Is there any specific rule um, associated? Well, yeah, that's that's the great question because deleting and excluding the data set it's all determined by you. You can uh, mind the um, excluding or deleting. 
you can use your domain knowledge to decide exclude or deleting. But there is a special rule. I can say that if I get the clean data, I can build more strong model and I can add more precise research of the prediction. So if we have unclean data, it can affect to our final result. It influences um, bad result, uh, bad influences on our final results. So I, for me, I prefer to get the clean data of this case. Of this case. Um, and for this case, I want to get more precise and want to build strong model. So that's why I need uh, clean data for this case. So it's, there's no specific rule, but you can, you can decide. But I prefer to get the clean data. So. Now, I guess one of my other questions would be, would be uh, mm -hmm. essentially, what are some of the, the pitfalls to um, not cleaning the data to a specific degree. So, mm -hmm. or is there a way to clean the data in a more um, efficient manner? Um, are there different methods? Is this just one method that you showed us? Are there, are there a multitude of methods? No. Um, you, can you specify your question? What, what is that? So essentially, are there, are there more than one um, components or methods to cleaning the data, or it's just this one only method. Because I know, like for example, like with Excel, uh, there, mm -hmm. there are you know a variety of different pathways. But is this is that the same with with this with this software? Yeah, yeah. So before you start the data, you can adjust the your missing data from the Excel or Python, or you can oh, use. I see. Okay. Yeah. Yes. That makes but sense. Jump. Uh, we can just click do cleaning so we can ex exclude all the missing values so it's more easier to use uh, using the jump oh, okay that makes sense great uh, all right so we're gonna do a uh, look at this two continuous variable wow. so uh, when we look at this height and weight continuous variable, you can check something unexpected value over here. So we, it cannot possible we get minus 99 value on height and weight. So we can deal, because it's not a missing value, so we have to deal with this kind of unexpected value. So I will show you how to manage this kind of column. So there are two things to fix this column. So as we did before, we can exclude uh, all this value. But as you see that it has a lot of value over here. So like, almost 237. So I, I'm not going to exclude all these data. Uh, I'm going to choose the imputation. Uh, it means that you can replace the minus 99 value to another value, such as mean value of this continuous column. So I will replace the value with mean value of female and male data set based on this uh, column. So first we are going to get the mean of weight of female and male. So let's go to analyze distribution and weight and make sure put the gender over here so you can check the mean value over here display horizontal and this point something to like so the female weight mean value is 55 and the male weight mean value is 101.7. So we're going to do uh, the 90 minus 99 value replace this value. So we're going to change over here. Wait, let's start change the weight over here so edit search 
fine. Minus mine value. Let's first change the female value first. Make sure match case, match entire cell. Click, click over these three mm, options and make sure by row. And you can go to rows in row selection and select player. So gender, when you put this value over here, so uh, the jump automatically select all the female value over here. So you can click replace R. So um, the mean uh, the weight column have minus 99 female value that changed that changed to uh, 55 value. So totally 58 occurrence replace. So let's replace the team, uh, male value as well. 10147. So let's go row. Row selection. Select where. So you put the male over here. And OK. And it automatically choose. And it select 505 in replacer. So 165 uh, value has been cha uh, changed. So you can check over here. So you can find that uh, the value has been changed like this. So it, this kind of stat makes, we can use the weight column properly. So let's see the eight column as well. So let's uh, find out the mean value of height. So you can put the height on the white column in gender by here. So click OK. Horizontal layout, just in case really clear. So we can get the female head mean value 150.4 and male height mean value of 164.6. So make sure remember of this, we're gonna change our data set. So click over here in with the same step, search, find. Minus 99, we're going to change the female value first. 150.4 by row, make sure. And rows in row selection and select where. So as we did uh, female. So, okay. Mm. Select 200 uh, uh, rows in clean replacer. So 56 um, replace. So let's do male part. Go rows, low selection. Select where? Gender, male, okay. replacer. So all the value minus 99 changed to uh, the mean value of male and female. So when you, you can see the minus, I uh, still have minus 99, but it's uh, excluded the row. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect our final result. So this is the step. We're going to finish all replace the data and checking the missing data and checking the outlier till now. So, and then we're going to reducing the categories. This step helped to reduce the complexity of the data set. But what it means the 
uh, reduce the complexity. So, for example, I will show you the reducing the categories. So, when you choose the eye color, colors, we code, you can see that we have like double value over like this. So, make sure we clean of this kind of data set. And this makes uh, more, this can get more categories and this makes um, more complexity of our data set. So we're going to change the data set to reduce the complexity. So make sure change like brown. So it's combined like automatically. So we're going to combine this blue together. Mm, green rose. Green, red, white, to white, all this yellow to yellow. And that's everything, or it's okay. So when we click the record, we have new column. So we are going to use when we build the model. So we can delete the original data set over here. So let's do the race column as well. So call record. So here's many, many categories in here. So we're gonna find uh, over here. Uh, I will treat all these human things into just human. Anyway, they're human. So we're going to change this data to human. Yeah, inhuman. That's also human. And let's check. Is the mutan the mutan there is the god so we're gonna change the god right here is there any god uh demigod mm. and i will treat all other things not human like this so uh, all other things I will treat not human. So we're gonna change other walls as a uh, not human. Human being, not human. Yeah. Ask guardian, not human. So we we reduce the categorize as a god, but not human. This is the human things. Sorry, I changed the human things here. I changed the things over here. Mm. Okay, uh, I will fix it. 
You yep. can just right click on the human and choose ungroup. Remove from group. Yeah. I'll remove from group. Yep. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> so make sure this one remove from group and not human. We did it. So record and delete the race. And let's do the hair color as well. So record. So make sure the black color over here. And blonde and brown. and orange and red oh, wait, wait. yes record so you can delete the hair color over right here and finally the uh, publisher core record so we can see that there are, um, we can categorize over here, like DC Comics and Marvels. And the other one is just one, five, six columns. So we, we're gonna combine all this column as a uh, publisher. Microsoft in BC. So all this all this data categorized in publisher. So we code. Yeah, finally. So we have new column and it's reduced the complexity. So we are all set of the data cleaning. So we're going to combine the two data sets. So let's go to table, uh, update, and click and make sure click match column. So click of name over here of the information data set and superhero power of hero name and match and it's gonna be the jump automatically uh, match the name of these two data set and put the data properly so make sure click ok so when you look at this data set our information data set uh, over here, agility power, you can see that all the power table data uh, combine properly here. So we all finish of data cleaning, pre-processing. So let's go to what our data looks like. So let's go to analyze distribution and we're going to put all the data, all our cleaning data to this Y column and OK. So this is our clean data and it shows how our data looks like. So you can take the gender over here. And when you look at the frequency, you can you can get the actual count number of this data. So
the superhero have mostly they have blue color, blue eye color in their ways, mostly human. And you can see over here, superhero have uh, black hair color and blonde and brown. Sometimes they have no hair over here. And you can see that Marvel Comics definitely they create a lot of um, superhero character. Um, and here is the alignments, our target variable. So we have um, 234 uh, good character of superhero and bad character of 93. And we can also uh, see that hate of superhero and the weight of superhero. So after cleaning the data, we can get the more clear uh, distribution of like this. And let's make the, and then we make the data visualization. So make some graph to uh, analyze and explore the data. So let's go to the graph and graph builder. So this tool make um, this tool explain uh, how our data looks like. So we can put, um, for example, we can put the publisher of Y column in. This is our target variable to group X, and make a histogram. So we can more clearly see that how many good character uh, in which publisher have good character or bad character over here. Uh, and we can see that we can use the power, power data to see the graph. So let's put, let's remove, uh, remove over here. We can put another some power over here to see what the data is about. So uh, there is many power over here. We can put this, the fourth column over here. And you can see that um, the good characters of superhero have slightly high the force. So we can expect that that's why all the good character win eventually. And next we can um, we can put mind control data, mind control resist the data. Let's put this one. So good character have high, uh, high mind control resistance. So when you put all the data over here, you can see the result. So which gonna be, uh, what kind of variable is significant in the, uh, when we using the, when we do the build the model over here. Very interesting. So you can use the box plot um, histogram or like, pie chart over here when you put the over here you can use the all the graph over here so um, like this we can use all the graph over here and next, let's check the correlation with the variable. 
So you can go to analyze if y by x in height weight. Uh, in this step, we can see that uh, which we can see that these two columns have which correlations. So when we click OK, we can see the plot, scatter plot of like this. Let's go to density eclipse and click here. We can get the result. So the correlation means that how these two columns related to each other. So when we get the correlations um, one, that means we have strong positive correlation. When we get the minus one, that means we have strong negative correlation. But in this case, we have point, point 0.2 correlation value. So it means that weight and, value, weight and height uh, have weak correlations. So we can check the corre uh, correlation between the two columns using by this step. So here is we ex uh, we here's all the step we did today. So we clean we clean the data and we explore the data and we learn that how we um, treat the missing value and how we replace the missing value to another value and how how we can do combine the two tables and after that we we explore the build a graph and we use the correlation with two columns to explore. So till now, uh, we explore our whole data set. In the second workshop, we're going to actually build a real model to predict uh, our subject. So it's really, really good to great steps. So I'm going to upload all the steps through my YouTube channel. So you can check after this class. So if you have any questions of this that you can comment my contents below, I will happily uh, answer your question. And also my professor Jennifer will help me to get this answer as well. So thank you Jennifer, cause she helped me a lot to make this workshop. So thank you so much. So we're gonna meet next Wednesday, exactly same time to build actual model of this data set. So thank you so much for joining this workshop. Great. So does anyone have any questions? Um, well, we have, I think, a few more moments, mm -hmm. about 15 minutes. Any questions for Jenny, myself, the board um, regarding this? I found this to be you know, quite fascinating and, and really in depth. This was great. Um, any questions, Mark, Jacob, you know, anyone in the, in the conference? What would be the easiest way to, um, I guess, or maybe the most simplistic way to, to develop the graph? I mean, I know there's so many different graphs that can apply to this data set, but what do you think is the most simplistic and the most, um, I guess, most in-depth, but also simplistic um, mm -hmm. uh, graph for, for, to, to really, you know, image this, this, this information? It depends on the, what's the data type. So for the continuous data, we prefer to use the plot. And for the category variable, we prefer to use the pie chart in the histogram. It's more shows you the more clear the graphs. So I would recommend that you should more, you should first check the data type variable and then choose the graph over here. You know, when have you used um, jump, you know, in the real world, so mm -hmm. to speak? Um, whether that be an internship and how did you use, I know you had mentioned something about financial data and modeling, how did you, just maybe a quick rundown of that way, we have, we have some time left, so. Yeah, it's certainly, um, yeah. If I can jump in for a second, if you don't mind. Um, 
in terms of real world usage of jump jump is a SaaS tool so a lot of people are familiar with SaaS and SaaS products but they may not have heard about jump um, i was at a jump conference in october and meeting industry people who are using this day in and day out in their jobs and people were there at the conference from procter and gamble unilever general motors um, microsoft mm -hmm. apple um, the beauty of this program is you can start with a little bit of statistics knowledge and jump in and be really productive from day one because it's a full GUI interface. So you don't need to take time writing and debugging code. It's all just right here with a few clicks. You can get your full robust analysis with the same structure of results every time. You just need to feed it new data. Um, so all like big players from those companies were, which are doing a lot of like um, engineering work or oh Boeing was there as well um, where you need a lot of statistical quality control there's a lot of functionality in here for this so the data exploration and the data modeling is just one aspect of what it can do but it's a full robust statistical analysis tool oh wow yeah so it's it's certainly thank you, you know, it can certainly be applied in in, in many fields. Um, it's, yeah. that's, I think yeah. that's what makes it so powerful. That's why I was so happy we were able to facilitate this because I think it's really good for you know our members to be you know exposed to to these different tools. I didn't know what Jump was prior to meeting Jenny. So this was you know just a great thing. So um, does anybody else have any questions? Yeah, I definitely recommend this tool. It's very powerful for not only like cleaning data, visualizing, but also developing like various statistical models. All right, so. <laughs> it's like everything is clear. <laughs> yeah, everything, this was great. So thank you and um, thanks to Jenny again, and we'll see you all next week at 2.30 again. Yes, mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much for joining.